Hello guys, today I am going to illustrate a simple tutorial which will help you to upload your Java servlet or a JSP program directly into the internet. After you have completed your project, you can put it on the internet so that uh, anyone can have access to it. So I will be using a service of a website called Jelastic. So for, for that, what you need to do, just go to the Google and type Jelastic. You will see Jelastic Multi Cloud Pass for Business and just all these things. Just click on it. Now they will ask for this tryout. Just click on it. Now you will see a multiple options here. Uh, like you have to register with one of their partners and then directly you can use their services. So just I'm going to go for this line Tita. Okay, I'm going to sign it up. It is asking for something you have to put your name like I'm putting my name here your email address and just you have to put you have to give your requirements and it is asking for some shady type of things let's try select all the try with the speed signs okay can let all us drive the street signs verify okay now it's done you just need to what are the requirement you can write upload java servlet and then sign up it will take certain amount of time they are processing your request okay now you are getting into the interface sign up interface so as soon as you will fill this form you will get an email address like uh, you will get an e uh, email from them like i have received one i'm going to open it welcome to Jelastic, and you need to click this link to activate your account okay so they are asking for a password so i will type a password So here is you have to give the mobile number the country uh, currently i'm living in india so i will give my country code and then followed by my mobile number they would be sending you a otp activation code which you have to put it here and get signing off okay the otp has arrived and now it is eight three double five i'm going to continue this After this, your account will be successfully activated. Taking a little bit. Now the dashboard is being loaded. Never. It is making your dashboard. It will take certain amount of time. Okay. So it's some kind of information just close this up okay now we have to create an account okay just close it up now we have to first create an account so that we can upload our servlet so I will click on this create account now in my JSP project in my Java servlet project I'm using I'm using Tomcat I need Java 8 and I'm using the SQL database so I will be selecting SQL 5.6 okay so tomcat java and sql these are my requirements and now i will give some name through which i can access my project call it a project okay it is confirming okay now just click on create so this thing can take certain amount of time because it generally take two or three minutes to create your account the environment is being created you have to wait a little bit for environment to be created successfully take certain amount of time so you can see that uh, your account has been successfully created okay just close this up now you need to configure this mysql databases if you are having any in your project so i would be clicking on this 
so finally my php my admin login will okay now it's there so you need to give a username and a password so for this you need to go to your email account and you need to check there will be some mail format okay the mail has not been received okay now okay you can see a mail from this where my sql notes are successfully added open this mail you would be seeing some login id and a password you need to use this login id and password to log into php my admin dashboard so the login is root and the password i'm going to copy from here okay pa admin is root and the password okay sorry password okay let's go now i have successfully never now i have successfully came to this php my admin dashboard from where i can add up my new databases which i would be using in my project so i will be using my own database so i will be creating new my database name would be hostel and i would be selecting it okay let's create uh you can use a database you can either import a database or can create a new database but in my case i would be importing a database because i already have it so i would be importing in my hostel database so i will click on import i would need i would need to browse the database which i am having in my computer right now so i am having a database i will open it and i will go to go you can also create database here or if you are having a database earlier you can so i have created a database and all the tables the things which i need to do they are available for me so this is the first step which we have done successfully now what we need to go you need to switch back to that jelastic administration account just click on this now what you need to do you need to go to a java project or a jsp project and wherever you have used the jdbc connection profile i am going to show now look at this thing here these three common uh, these three statements are very common if you are using any jdbc connection for database anything like that so what you need to do you just need to change this thing you need to change this thing this thing is same this thing is the thing which you would be receiving in your email i am going to show it right now you can see this this thing is same as you are going in this uh, this thing would be same as you would be using in your uh, jsp project let wait okay i have used something uh, some other thing but you would be replacing it like i would be replacing this entire thing with a thing which is available here removing this http from mysql okay copy and i'm going to paste it here second thing this thing is the name of your database hostel in my case is the name of the database which i have used here so this thing you need to know and third thing this uh, root and password would be you would be mentioning here like this is a root and the password is okay this is a password here so in my case the password is this i would be copying it and pasting it here the same process you would be uh, using where you have established a connection with the databases you have to replace this statement and the other things will remain same after doing this thing what you need to do you need to create a war file of your jsp project in that means you can simply create a war file by right clicking on your project and then you can uh, click on clean and build after clean and build is complete okay sorry after clean and build is complete you need to go to the projects where you have stored your netbeans sorry you have stored your java project in my case it is in documents netbeans and this is my project name student in this you need to go to this dist folder and you would be having student.war file this file is needed uh, to upload your java servlet project into the internet or a jsp project so we need this war file so we will go back to the elastic administration account and we will click on here upload now you to select that war file you need to browse through that war file which you want to upload of the particular project so let's get there uh, so this is the war file which i want to upload i will click on it i will click on 
open and I will click on upload so again it will take certain amount of time to upload you can see that you have successfully uploaded your WAR file now in order to deploy this WAR file click on this button and click on this project okay sorry 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 yeah it's right it's right you have to do the same thing now what you need to do just click on deploy it will take certain time for your file to be deployed after your file has been deployed you will see congratulation now let's open a application so just click on this and it will open your java subdiff project online and it's running and you need to visit something like this okay now you can use your like this is my project and there's a connection to a database and everything and i can access it everything so if you like the video please subscribe thank you